Hey guys, so I'm gonna be showing you how to send emails with Node.js. Now we're gonna be using this nice library called Node Mailer that makes it super easy. Now we're gonna follow the instructions right here for just sending um, some test emails. And then after that, we're actually gonna send emails using a Gmail account. So we actually send real ones. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come to their homepage, nodemailer.com, and I'm gonna copy this code right here and what this code is is just to create a test account and then to send a test email to see if everything works um, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop to the command line this is the folder I want to do the project in and I'm just gonna say npm init and I'm gonna keep all the defaults and then I'm just gonna say yarn add node mailer to install that and then I'm gonna come over here this is it opened up in Visual Studio Code, and I'm gonna say index.js, and this is where I'm gonna put my code. So I'm gonna paste it in here. Cool, we have this here. And now what this code is doing right here is it's creating a test account. It's telling us what the account details are, and then we're just using the username and password that come with this account to authenticate with this ethereal email server. And then we're gonna send an email. We're gonna say hello, um, hello world, and then we're gonna see some output in the logs on um, whether it went through or not. So let's give this a try. So I'm gonna say, clear this out, node index.js and go ahead and run it. And when that's done running, we should see a little link and we do. So if I click on this, um, we can see our email actually sent and it says hello world here. So it's super easy and fast to get this set up now this is a nice little like a uh, playground or sandbox where you can test out your emails once you have this ready and you change this to what you like so maybe um, and here you can do html um, you should be used to the from to subject that's all looks normal the text here um, you can either do plain text or you can use an html body um, so i can do an html hello header and then I can have a body where I say hello world and we can bold it or actually I don't even know what the B tag is for in HTML but we can write what do you know hello world as much as we can then we can come over here um, we can run it again and then when we're happy with this when we like how our message looks we can just continue coming over here we get a new URL we can look at it we see our hello header Let's say we're happy with this and we want to send this to a real email. So to do this, I'm going to do 10 minute email, 10 minute email. Um, so I want to send an email to this guy right here. So to do this, what I'm going to do is instead of using Ethereal, which is just for testing, I'm now I'm done testing and I'd like to send a real email using Gmail. That's how they get it to work. So to do this, I am going to get rid of this, and I'm gonna say service, and here I'm gonna put Gmail. And then off, I put my username and password for Gmail. Now I'm storing mine in environment variables, so I'm gonna say process.env.gmail underscore user, and process.env.gmail pass. Now if you want to, and we, can, we just need to put a comma here. If you want to, you can just put the strings here. Um, to get the environment variables, I'm gonna say yarn add .env, and then I'm at the top here, I'm just gonna say const, or I'm not even gonna say const, I'm just gonna require, and then say .env .require. Oops, not require, config. All right, and then we're good. So this will get the environment variables for me. I put my username and password in the .env here. So now I can send, um, an email using my Gmail. So I'm gonna say from the from, this is Ben Awad, and I'm gonna say Ben Awad apps at gmail.com. And then in the to field, I'm gonna put this email right here because that's who I'd like to send it to. So paste that, oops, didn't copy it right. Uh, okay, it's not copying for some reason. See if that'll grab it. Okay, it's not copying for whatever reason, so we'll just type it out. 
M M fifty M fifty thirty six sixty five at M B H R H T dot net. Okay. So that's who I want to send it to. Subject hello from node.js. And we'll keep the hello world here. So now let's give this a try and try sending this. So I'm going to say node.index.js. And you'll notice how here what we'll get is instead of getting a preview URL, it'll just say message sent. And the reason for that is that for the preview URL, that's only for testing. OK, so we send an email, and bam, it shows up here. And it says it's from binawatapps at gmail.com. And it says hello from Node.js, and we see the hello header here. So this is pretty cool. This will allow us to send emails from Node.js, which is really nice. And a big use case for this is if you want to send confirmation emails, maybe after someone signs up for your account or service. So I'm going to put this code on GitHub if you want to check it out. But actually, I'm not even going to bother putting this on GitHub because I basically just copy and pasted the example here. Um, but you'll notice I just did change my put my Gmail username and password. Now note, if you get a problem authenticating with Gmail, um, you do have to change a setting in your Gmail account um, to make it less secure, basically to do authentication this way. I'll send a link on how you do that. Um, basically, you have to say allow insecure apps to access your Gmail. And that, that's what allows this guy to access your Gmail and then send the email for you. So I'll sh put a link in the description below for you to if you want to try this out and see if you can get it to work. Um, if you don't want to use your Gmail, you might want to use other things like AWS, SendGrid, and there's some other APIs that let you use um, just a regular, uh, a different email. The nice thing about this Node Mailer, it lets you use your Gmail, um, which is easy. And look how fast we were able to send an email with. So pretty nice. Um, in the next video, what I'm going to be doing is actually taking this and uh, adding it in with a node server. And so we're actually going to accept a confirmation. Or when someone signs up, we're going to send them a confirmation email. And they're going to click on a link and confirm their account. Um, so that's what's coming next. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.